Only Cancer Sun Capricorn Boons, welcome to your 2020 Sun Moon reading. When you view it is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. I'm doing these in order of requests in the comments. Be sure to post yours up and then check out my 2019 Sun Moon readings while you're waiting for yours to be done. First portion of this reading, we'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination. We'll lay out the main cards, take a quick look at your 2020. Second portion of this will be the link below to the Vimeo reading where I'll have a deeper interpretation of the cards with clarifiers. I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors. So let's get to your Sun Moon combination. Combination. So Cancer Sun, um, Capricorn Moons. One of the things you need to work on in 2020 is uh, self-esteem. So really like try to build yourself up, build up your confidence, um, things like that. So that would be the number thing I number one thing I would say right off of the bat. You're really good at looking um, into people, um, have an insight into people because of your experience that you've had throughout your life. Um, you don't actually you're not scared of 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 the future or I was going to say failing, but I mean, you're not scared of what the future holds. And this is a little bit unusual for most Cancer. So that's your Capricorn um, moon kind of, you know, giving you, building you up a little bit in that regard, um, getting rid of that fear. You have very high goals, very high ambition, and you do desire recognition. You're, you have the one side of you that's a little bit um, cold, a little bit distant, very goal oriented, and the other side of you that's very kind, uh, cautious, a little too emotional, okay? So this combination, it definitely has opposition to it. Um, you do have internal disputes and you try to solve issues or you have internal disputes with trying to solve issues, solve problems, and you need to build yourself up because of this internal conflict that you all have. You may have had experiences in your childhood and where you dealt with obstacles very well or you had to, um, and this caused you to become a very calculating person, a very um, introspective type of person. You are very serious and you learn things very quickly and very easily. You do have a need to kind of prove yourself to the world and be recognized from the world. You're never happy with things externally or surface impressions. You like to delve a little deeper, um, get to the heart of things, get to the answers of things. Sometimes you like to isolate yourself. You like to be secluded, get away from people once in a while. It's a deep desire that you have, but sometimes if you do a little bit too much of it, you're gonna alienate the people that are closest to you, okay? Um, and then also what's gonna happen is you're not gonna have like these external opinions. You're gonna be left alone with your own thoughts. You're gonna be beating up on yourself, telling yourself you're not good enough. And then what's gonna come about because of this withdrawal is um, disappointment, which then snowballs into depression, which can then snowball into self-medicating with alcohol or drugs. And then that's just going down a scary road. So be careful not to kind of um, go down a dark road like that. Really, really try to appreciate yourself in 2020. Realize that you have limitations. They are what they are. Um, work on accentuating the strengths that you have and work on the weaknesses that you have and realize it's okay sometimes to be sensitive or overly sensitive. It happens to everybody. Again, work on accepting yourself and loving yourself. And once you kind of learn to make peace with yourself internally and with that conflict, you're going to be able to make aspirations happen. Um, visions are going to be able to turn into reality. And that excellent intuition that you have, in addition to your organiza organizational skills, makes you great in a business regard, okay? So let's see what you have for your 2020. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please find your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Cancer Sun, Capricorn Moons. For the year 2020, what do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine? Any messages that you have for their greater good would be greatly appreciated. For Cancer Sun, Capricorn Moons, what do you see? What do they need to know? Thank you. What do you see for January, February, March for Cancer Sun, Capricorn Moons? Okay, we have the Emperor card in reverse. Alrighty. If this resonates with you, also consider a personal reading. Check out my rates, my info, and send me an email below, and we can go ahead and set it up. April, May, June, you have the moon card in reverse. At also, ask me a question on the Instant Go app. Check me out on Facebook and Insta, where I upload my weeklies, sometimes weekends. 
Ace of Wands in reverse for the period of July, August, September. And then if you could like, share, subscribe, and or donate in the link below. Always appreciated. Four of Pentacles in the upright for October, November, December. Okay. Um, things aren't going so great in the end of the, in the beginning of the year. We have the Emperor card in reverse, which is the card of Aries. I'm getting that things are really um <laughs> I'm wondering if this is your duality here. I wonder if this is the conflict here that you're having. Um, and part of the conflict that I'm feeling with you all is that you have the one side of you that is really, that can be aggressive um, in regards to things or assertive, um, really, you know, which is the Capricorn aspect. And maybe sometimes overly so. Maybe um, sometimes, you know, your ambitions and the things that you want um, and being shrewd and cold sometimes are a little too overbearing and you overlook other people or you um it overrides other people's agenda um and then on the other side you have the cancer side of you that i feel like is um disorganized um has a heart has a hard time like setting up boundaries um so i almost feel like during the period of january february march you're going to have a, a lot of internal conversations with yourself about um the duality that that you have not not necessarily just an astrological aspect that we're talking about but in that personality those personality traits so if you have those personality traits i think this this reading is more likely to resonate to you you know where you have the one side like i said really aggressive really overbearing not very sensitive and then the other side where you're really disorganized and you just can't kind of get things together um create boundaries for yourself or, or just in general make a plan of some sort and i feel like this is going to be um you know a, a problem for you like um an imbalance or an influx of some sort in January, February, March. Now, we move into April, May, June. The moon card in reverse, which is the card of Pisces, and what we're getting from this is you come out of this, okay? So I think you kind of realize uh, internally what's kind of holding you up from getting where you wanna go, whether you know it's successes in your love life or career or whatever, just bettering your life. And I think you're kind of looking around um, and, and you're having this revelation of how these things have affected you negatively and that you don't really need them in your life anymore. I feel like you're kind of picking through them. I feel like you've um, maybe kind of confronted some emotions that you've had, um, understanding how these emotions have, have caused your life to go either um, this way or that way or, you know what I mean, influence things in a certain manner. So I, I feel like in April, May, June, you're going to have this awakening that's going to kind of um, open up here. Now, we move into July, August, September, and I'm kind of feeling as though in the first half of the year, you're like, great, I figured this all out. I know what the, what's going on with me. You know, you're having this spiritual awakening. Things are starting to, um, you're correcting things and, you know, working on what you need to work on. And, and you're feeling really good about yourself. But as you go into July, August, September, you're having a hard time getting things off the ground. So, um, you know, anything you try to kind of start isn't taking root and kind of taking off. Um, it's kind of like a little bit like a lead balloon. Um, things aren't happening. And as a result, you're starting to become a little bit, you know, not, not, very excited about them, not energetic about them, having this conversations with you, yourself. Why is it that ha this happening? I've done all this work. I had all these ideas, all these aspirations, all these things I wanted to do. Nothing's kind of getting off the ground. So be careful during this period of time because in July, August, September, you could be feeding into that cycle that we talked about where you know, something's not going your way, um, even though you thought it was, and then you just start having internal negative conversations with yourself, and then you kind of get sucked into this hole of depression, disappointment, negativity, and you're, and you might have a hard time kind of coming out of it. Um, and, and here in October, November, December, I see you kind of encasing yourself with stuff that gives you sort of like this, um, false sense of security, holding on to things. I mean, it's almost as though, well, I couldn't make something happen, so let me just hold on to everything that I have. Um, 
you know, it, it's not a time where you're going to be uh, spending any money, where you're going to be um, loaning people things. I, I feel like you're really holding on your possessions because I feel like this is going to be a rough year for you while you kind of work out this conflict. So here in October, November, December, I feel like you're like, okay, well, I'm going to hold on what I have and I'm going to sit tight until I figure this out. Okay. Um, this really is kind of a spiritual and mental kind of reading. So if this resonates, consider a personal reading, of course. Just send me an email. We can make that happen. Um, and or click on the Vimeo link below where I'll have helpful clarifiers on this reading. Check out your 2019 Sun Moon readings. Ask me a question on InstantGo. Check me out on Facebook, Insta. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate if you'd like in support of me. Otherwise, good luck to you in 2020. Bye.